All right, guys, Mike from the Pipe Doctor. We're back at this property in Cedarhurst. Well, if you recall yesterday, the automatic fill valve decided to not close and flooded out the entire building. Literally, look at the video yesterday. This morning, we get a call from the property manager that one of the tenants upstairs is complaining that there's no heat and uh, wants us to come back out there again and figure out what's going on. And he also gave us authorization to replace the automatic feeder. We'll do that maybe Thursday or Friday this week. It's a holiday. Honestly, I feel like going home early and not having to deal with installing that today. As you can see, our site class is literally right at the top right there. I'm gonna take out a little bit of water on that, but in any case, we'll take care of this too. In any case, I get here and the thermostat was set to off. And I put it onto heat and it went back to off. And it was reading an indoor temperature of dash dash. On this Honeywell thermostat, uh, we have a wired temperature sensor, right? So it, it's reading the temperature from that temperature sensor and it's configured to only read that temperature, not average this temperature here at the location of the thermostat and the location of the temperature sensor. It's only reading the indoor wired temperature sensor. And if it doesn't see one, you get blank blank on the display for indoor temperature. So we went into the configuration menu, the installer menu, you do that by holding down system. You push in the, uh, the left and right uh, touch screens. Uh, that's right next to the middle button. Hold that down for five seconds. You go into, I think, setting 340, and we change it from three to zero. So now it's reading the temperature here. So I ohmed out SS, S1, S2, and I got nothing. All right. I got nothing on it. So I decided to trace out this wire, all right? I'm going back up here. Traced out the wire. It's going there, all right? To there. And it goes into there, right there. It goes right there. And those windows are open up there. And I see they're doing construction <laughs> on that room, that apartment. So I go up there and I ask, and hey, what are you guys doing? I was like, um, did you guys cut any wires? And they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so yesterday afternoon, they cut the thermostat wire going to the wired controller and uh, just left it off to the side. You know, the cover, the Honeywell cover, actually was sitting on the windowsill. Took a picture of that for the property manager. Took a picture of this for the property manager. And I set this for 73. Um, maybe I'm gonna go to 74, right? Uh, only because this room is gonna get hot and it may get 74 up here. Um, but that's where we're at. I need to run a new wire up to that apartment or I'm going to install a wireless temperature sensor. Um, this may or may not involve replacing this entire thermostat, we'll see, but uh, I'm still waiting on approval from the property manager to see what they want to do. Uh, but there you go, you know, that's good technician skills. You know, observe what's going on, you know, and assess in your head, okay, what's going on? You know, you, know, you have a blank blank on inside temperature, why is it that way? Is it because of the thermostat is defective or is there a setting which is preventing that from, you know, uh, seeing a temperature? In this case, there was. So now I realize, okay, I ohmed out the temperature. It should be, let's say around 10,000, it's zero, it's nothing. And I follow the wire, I look upstairs at the windows, the guys are there working, I go up to the apartment, they realize they cut the wire. And they just didn't cut the wire, they cut the wire flush with the outside wall. So now, you know, I'm either running a brand new wire from point A to point B, or I am uh, installing a wireless temperature sensor. And I'll probably do that. I'll probably make this a Wi-Fi thermostat. I will 
give them a wireless controller upstairs. Maybe we'll put in two wireless sensors in there so it'll average out two different locations for the wireless capabilities and uh, go from there. Uh, but as you can see, my boiler's running and I'm good to go. If you got a steam boiler, you don't want a, a hack job, you want the right the job done, don't pay twice, pay once, just pay us once and we'll get the job done right the first time. Thank you very much, have a great day and happy new year.